welcome back to my channel. The weather has completely screwed me over this week. There was no way I was gonna be able to do a fashion haul. And actually, I feel like we've done quite a lot of spring, summer, it's now summer, hauls. So I thought, let's get this product reviewed because I've been talking about it for a little while. I've had this about three months and I haven't yet put it to the test. What I wanted to do was compare it to my forever faithful Revlon One Step. Excuse the fact that it has hair in it, but you know, it is used, it's used every week. Shame on me for not prepping my equipment before I review it. But yeah, so very briefly, if you are new to my channel, you may not remember that probably about two and a half years ago, I did a review on this Revlon One Step. It was at the time where it was all kind of kicking off, everyone's talking about it on the internet, everyone's raving about it being the next best amazing thing. I'm not normally that intrigued about hair appliances because I've got to be brutally honest with myself, I am not good at hair. I either have it scraped up in a ponytail most of the time or for videos I do tend to spend more time on it although I honestly I'm just not that good anyway this was two and a half years ago I did a review on this well I can tell you hands down I have not picked up a hairdryer in those two and a half years this literally changed my hair routine I actually don't know what I would do without it now and that sounds so pathetic but it really really has been a game changer for me so when this Remington Hydrolux came out and this was supposed to be a I don't know if you call it a dupe or competition I guess you'd say I thought right I'm gonna get my hands on it I'll be able to test it out I can tell you what's better because for the last two and a half years I've been saying that this is literally the best if it is better wow that excites me but at the same time I am very very faithful to my Revlon one step so we're gonna do a little review today the only way I can possibly do it is to half my head um, so I'm gonna be doing half of my head with the Revlon one step and half my head with the Hydrolux I have washed my hair I have conditioned my hair and I have put a protective spray into it. My hair needs all the help it can get to be quite honest with you. So summer's arrived. I have no words for this weather at the moment. After saying to you and saying to myself, my gosh, when, you know, is the summer gonna come? I'm doing all of these spring summer hauls and the weather was absolutely crud. And then literally it's just turned on its head. It's been up to 30 degrees, as you know, obviously you are on the same planet as me. Yeah, I think today is definitely not a day to be doing a fashion haul. So let's crack on with this. I don't know if I've mentioned this to you before, but I live in a 700 year old house and the plug sockets in this house are few and far between. Let me just find one. Not that they would have had plug sockets obviously 700 years ago, but difficult to put in any modern appliances into houses this, this oh blimey, this old. Right, so here we go. If you are not familiar with the Revlon One Step, it is this. It dries, it gives volume, and it generally makes your hair look absolutely fabulous or as fabulous as it can look. It's cylindrical in shape, but kind of oblongy at the same time so it's like that it's actually quite a big piece of kit when I did first review it I thought mm, it's actually quite big it could be quite heavy I don't have a lot of hair so it doesn't take me a huge amount of time it'll actually be interesting to compare the weight of the Remington Hydrolux compared to the Revlon One Step but yes it is quite a big piece of kit but it does two things in one which is what was very exciting to me when I first did this review and it still is you have three settings at the bottom you've got high heat medium heat a cooler heat, even though it has an icicle on it, it's definitely not cooler, it's just a cooler, warmer, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's good to finish off the hair, to close the cuticles, blah, blah, blah. So there we go, it has three settings. I tend to use it on the number one, which is that one. If I'm in a real rush, I go on that one. I'm gonna section off my hair um, as best as I can in the middle. Excuse me if I make funny faces today, I have had the most horrendous hay fever all week. I cannot get rid of it. I've tried everything. I've tried all the different ingredients of hay fever tablets and I just can't seem to get rid of it. If you don't have hay fever, thank the Lord because it is one of those things that's just so debilitating if you get it really, really bad. My eyes itch, my ears itch, my nose itches, my throat. I make these really quite random noises, which my family absolutely love. I'm not going to do anything differently. I'm literally going to dry my hair as I normally do. I always put that first bit up and give as honest review as I possibly can on these products. Obviously, you know how I feel about this bad boy. These tools literally are a one-man show. I don't need a hair dryer and a brush 
and having to manoeuvre myself around my own head. It does the whole lot and in fact I just use my own hands to pull the hair up that I want. So already I've got a nice little kink which is how I always dry my hair every week. Because I like quite a lot of volume in my hair, I go under. So I lift the top of the hair up and I go underneath. And I'm kind of pulling out from the root. That's how I kind of get the best volume. You can, you can feel it yourself anyway. It's quite obvious that you're pulling your hair. So you're getting a bit of volume now around the side of the head, which is what I like. Great thing is, it's also a brush. So I can brush down the hair before I then go underneath. Hold it there and slowly, slowly pull it out. It's brushing it at the same time. Now I start to go forward and lift it up at the front. Twenty nine degrees out there, and I blow dry my hair. So there we go. So we've got volume around here, which is what I like. And as you saw, if I pick up the hair from the front and bring it forward, I'm going to do another video of this when I don't have to split my hair and it's much easier. It kind of gives this little kink here, which is what I like. That's me personally, but I do quite like that little kink there as well. But yeah, as you can see, it's got movement and it's turned under at the bottom. And that is what I like. Right, let's crack open the Remington Hydrolux and see what this bad boy can do. I think price brand Bracket wise it's pretty much the same it will take a couple of pounds so I'm not gonna judge it on that okay that is the head of the Hydrolux and that is the head of the one step it looks pretty similar in size it's the same width pretty much if you look at the Hydrolux you can see that there are more bristles down either side and not so much in the middle and it's exactly the same on the Revlon you can't see it as obviously because it's got a black ceramic so I'm assuming they're both ceramic yeah the Remington Hydrolux has a ceramic coating, which I know that the Revlon does as well. The Hydrolux is a 1200 watt power, which is the same as the Revlon. I'm gonna stick the head on the base because that's the first step. It's a really snazzy looking piece of equipment. You're beautiful as well. I like the white. I'm into the white. I'd love to have all white beauty products. That'd be lovely. Ah, gosh, that actually went on a bit too easy. Rotate the brush until the locked symbol is aligned with the marker. So that is your unlock sign. Ah, yay! I for a moment had this drip. You cannot do this to me today. It's been a bad enough week. Right, so there we go. So this works slightly differently. I can see at the bottom, you've got the one, two, three, which is the gentle heat. <laughs> and you've got NASA. Um, up here, you've got cold and hot. The more I look at it, the more nifty it looks. It, it's looking pretty snazzy. So let's give this a go. I'm gonna start with number one. Okay, so first thing I notice is the same as this rotates. Exactly the same as the red one. You need it to rotate, otherwise you're gonna do that and you're gonna get yourself into a right pickle. So in that respect, it's the same. It's rolling really nicely, really smoothly. It feels like it's longer. Let's just, it is longer. So I could feel that. I could feel that when I was doing it. That's good. That is good. It seems a lot calmer. It doesn't seem as stressy as that one. See how well it just picks up the hair. out of this but I'm gonna turn it down to cool and see how cool cool is you always have one side of your hair don't you that dries so much better than the other side well I do anyway oh it's cool it has actually cooled down a lot now it's just a really kind of lukewarm warm you know what I mean there we go well 
obviously this side was done about 10 15 minutes ago so it has kind of started to do its own thing also because i've been blow drying this side it will waft it out that way usage wise i would happily take this if this died on me tomorrow i wouldn't rush out and get another one saying that i am quite faithful to this this has got me through some pretty bad hair moments in the past so i would really struggle to judge the two looks wise i would go with the hydrolux i'm liking the pale probably because i'm so used to this black one but i do like the look of this one sturdiness the revlon i mean this feels like a really solid piece i can hear it it's a little bit wobbly there's something shaking around and that doesn't you know it's not quite as sturdy as the Revlon I think I prefer the buttons on the Revlon as opposed to the Remington because it's in the way so when you're drying your hair you can accidentally slip it onto hot or back onto cool so that kind of is in the way I mean it's not a massive thing I'm just comparing these bits to you the twist at the bottom turning them on is exactly the same there's no difference there with this one it felt like when I was pulling it it wasn't as round as this one and actually when you kind of look at it like that there is probably Probably a few millimeters difference this is slightly flatter and this is more of a rounder oval this one's probably better for the volume and this is probably better for the smoothness that's probably the best way to round them up so there we go I'm gonna finish off my hair I'm gonna do what I normally do and I will speak to you in a bit tricky one for me if you want volume i would say the revlon one step in this model i will link these down below for you if you have long hair i would say that this one may work better personally i'm a revlon one step girl there we go ladies that is the remington hydrolux review in comparison to the revlon one step which is unbeaten i think when you've got something that's so amazing already it's difficult oh it's difficult to bypass that so i'm so hot I can't believe I've just done a hair dryer review on one of the hottest days of the year. I will link both of these products down below for you. I found the cheapest Revlon One Step. It's on Amazon. I will also link the limited edition blue one, which is just beautiful. I will also link the Remington Hydrolux as well, because you may prefer the look of that. Right, ladies, if you have enjoyed my video, please do give it a thumbs up. That really is important to me. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do whack down on the subscribe button. Have a fantastic weekend. It's going to be boiloid, but thunder storms hopefully on sunday which is always quite a nice cooling break from the heat and i will see you next friday at 6 p.m for a, another haul take care bye i see a light in your eyes i fall